We're back with Mark Tilker, President and CEO of the Marathon Group of Companies, which includes BEI Hawaii and HTNT. When did you start getting involved with community affairs um, and giving back? Well, the first, the first community service job I ever had was uh, in Philadelphia. I, um, I got involved with the Multiple Sclerosis Society when I was about 26, 27 years old. And uh, it was when I was working for Cigna Corporation. And um, we started this Young Professionals Auxiliary to the Multiple Sclerosis Society. And uh, it was really almost like a singles club. And um, it, was, it was fun. We enjoyed it, and uh, I did it with a lot of my friends, and um, we had parties, and we raised money. And um, that was really the first community service I, I did. And then when I moved back here full-time to be with my family in about 1990, I got involved with Junior Achievement, a little bit with um, the American Cancer Society. And um, those jobs were a little different. Um, they weren't really jobs. They were little community service, but I didn't know anyone when I moved here in 1990. I mean, my family was here, but I hadn't grown up here. I didn't go to high school here. And so my involvement was more about my discipline. I had a degree in accounting, so they made me the treasurer. And uh, so my participation was, okay, you're going to be the treasurer. And so I did a lot of work with the charities. Then, I think a lot like you guys, I was a Pacific Century Fellow. And that kind of opened my eyes to community service. And after that, I wanted to get involved. And also, when I sort of started running my companies, my involvement in the community changed a little bit. People would come to me, and I'd sort of look out for the employees a little more. And I was a little more touched. I got involved in the American Red Cross. Someone got me involved in that. And... I would pay a little bit more attention at board meetings and stuff because the American Red Cross wasn't just about doing, you know, walkathons and telethons and bowlathons. It was real interesting to me because I realized that the people at the American Red Cross really cared. I mean, they were responding to disasters, fires, floods, and it wasn't just about going to these dinners and buying tables. It was that they were really doing something. And then uh, I got involved in some of these other charities, and I realized that they were touching people. They were, people were having, you know, diseases and cancer, and they were affecting my employees, their mothers, their cousins, their brothers, their aunties. And it was important, the work. And um, so I got involved, and that's some of these boards that I'm on and it's not just raising money it's not just going to these walks and these dinners um, people are really affected and that these charities are doing something and so that's when I started to get involved how did you start getting involved though because some people don't know where to start they sort of got me involved people would approach me and they'd say hey can you help us here can you help us there or you knew somebody who had this, or you knew somebody who had that, or somebody's brother had that, or, you know, so they, they kind of found me, you know, and, uh, you know, they're, they're all important causes. I mean, there's not a bad charity out there, and the pie is only so big, and everybody's jockeying for the same dollars. And, you know, I, I'm like, I can't say no. I mean, I just, I'm like that. I just, you know, it's, my dad always taught me, you know, if you want something done, give it to a busy person, and it'll get done. And that's what I do. What change did you see in your business life um, after starting to get involved in these nonprofits, boards, and different organizations? I just felt better about myself. Uh, you know, I didn't, you know, I, I, my business life was just, I, I feel blessed. I mean, the company's doing well, um, the economy's good, and, uh, you know, I have great partners, and, you know, it, that, that part of my life was going great. So I felt like it was not an obligation, but it was important. And so 
I made sure that my partners understood that it was important to me and so it should be important to the company and they agreed that, you know, the community can benefit and therefore the company should benefit and um, they were all for it. You know, this should be part of our mission, you know, to take care and to give back. And the employees are great like that. You know, if we say, like this past Saturday, we did this uh, walk for autism. You know, I'm not on the board of autism or anything, but we needed to help out somebody who had autism. And boom, we were there. I think we had uh, 33 walkers, and we gave money, you know, lots of money. And boom, everybody came out, and we did it. I'm not on the board. Nobody I know is on the board. And we were there. We just did it. So where did the Gift Foundation come into this? That is an absolutely great charity. It's actually a group. Uh, I was approached by um, a really good friend, actually, um, and he said, we want you to be on the, the board, the Gift Foundation. And I'm really pleased that he did because that's a fun board. I mean, of all the boards that I'm on, um, I enjoy that. That's a group of um, young, really caring, professional people who throw a party around Halloween or at Halloween every year. It's a costume party. Really, their mission is to give back, and they're philanthropic people, and they are young professionals, and they just have a blast. I mean, every board meeting is uh, everybody just, the ideas just fly, and nothing is off limits, and everybody has fun, and um, I'm probably one of the old, they'll probably put me out to pasture pretty soon. I mean, they're bringing in younger people. I think there's about 16 or 17 on the board now, and I've been doing it maybe three years, and um, they're just great. You know, they're very committed and everybody participates, and everybody's got a job. Uh, you know, they just, everybody signs up for something and just boom. And I mean, we started earlier this year, and they pick a theme, and um, it's a blast. I mean, it's just an awesome charity. And um, now they're picking uh, the, who the beneficiary is going to be. And uh, the Gift Foundation is, it, it's great. And that thing's going to be around for a long time. And, um, it's a blast. It's a bunch of young professionals who are just, they're going to make a statement. And they are. It's, it's, it's a good time. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more on Greater Good Radio.